Midjourney is a research lab widely known for developing an AI art generator. To fully enjoy the power of Midjourney, you need to understand how to craft effective prompts. In this video, we'll explain how to use reference images like these and use Midjourney to create an AI art image like this. Stay tuned to see exactly how we did this. If you're brand new to Midjourney, Click the link in the description to watch our beginner tutorial for getting started. Otherwise, you can head over to midjourney.com and hop into the Discord server. We can create our own server using the Midjourney bot to kind of avoid the busyness of other users. Within Discord, you can click add a server and then go on to create my own. From here, I usually just like skip this question and then you can give your server a name. From there, just hit create and that server will be generated. Now, if we head back into the Midjourney server, you can go into one of the newbies rooms then if it's hidden, you can select show member list up in the top right corner. All of these rooms will have the Midjourney bot available within the chat. So you can just click onto their username, hit add to server, and then you can select that new server you just created and continue. So then from there, it's just going to ask you to authorize and ultimately that Midjourney bot will now be in that new server you created. Now that the server is created, we can upload the reference files for use to create the art images. Within the chat, you can click on the plus sign then go to upload a file and you can select the individual images. Once the images load, just make sure to hit enter so they're present within the chat. If you'd rather use an image from Google or Bing, just make sure that the file ends in a .jpg or .png rather than redirecting you to a website. Now that the images are loaded, we can go within the chat and type in forward slash imagine and then hit tab. From here, you can click into each of the individual photos, then right click on them and select copy image address. From there, you can just paste those two addresses or however many reference images you have, paste them within the prompt that you're currently building out. So for this example, we can type in some more keywords within the prompt, such as you know futuristic, ultra realistic, and then we can do cyberpunk. And then at the very end, since we're using version four of Midjourney, you can do double hyphen V, a space, and then the number four. And then from there, just hit enter. Using reference images may make the Midjourney bot take a little bit longer to finalize your image, but we can see it coming in now. With these reference images, Midjourney essentially takes elements from however many you upload from all those different images and tries to kind of fuse them together to create something original. So you can see here we have the character built out all kind of within the cyberpunk style. So I like this first image, we can upscale it and see it loading. Very, very impressive. The, the version four of Midjourney has come a long way, honestly, from the beginning. Okay, so let's use these same reference images again. In this instance, for the prompt, we can do comic book style and then happy. And I'm gonna change out the background and see how that kind of works out. So we can do sunset in the background and then that double hyphen V space and then four for version four. So here's the final result. You can see it's in that comic book style, very, very high quality images. And you can see the background now kind of has that sunset look. Hey, uh, just wanted to interrupt quickly to say, if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to subscribe and hit like. All right, let's go back. All right, so for this last one, let's only use the image of the man. Again, you know, do imagine, prompt, and then just paste in that first URL this time. And let's do Pixar, old man, and then make him angry. And again, doing the, the V4. As the image loads, you can kind of see it seems to have the same sort of facial structure and the same background really, just kind of in the Pixar form. Okay, I really like that first one again, so we can upscale that by hitting the U1. Okay, so here's the result of that. You can also use the images outputted by Midjourney as reference images. So let's use that old man we just created and add to the prompt female, and then put happy, and again, V4. Okay, so there, there's the final result. A little bit frightening, to be honest with you, but kind of just showing the power of this version four of Midjourney and how you can take reference images and create something entirely new. Now it's time to jump into Midjourney and see how you can use reference images to create some amazing AI art. As always, thanks for tuning in and look forward to more content coming soon.